very good morning sir welcome thank you thank you very much we are really blessed to have you in this morning yeah. you have yeah, taken your time it's thank a great you. pleasure <laughs> great thank pleasure you so thank you so much uh, shall we start now sir yeah sure one second one second we will check up the uh, audio and video sure and we will Uh, we are going live. We need to check that out. Sure. So it will take two more minutes, sir. We have set the time at 12 o'clock sharp, sir. Okay. So it will only pick up at uh, 12 sharp. Right. You should see the by effect to how the press will be. You should see the by effect to how the press will be. Yes, sir. Ready to start? Ready to start, okay. Yeah. Very good afternoon, everyone. All are welcome for the third five-day webinar series from Gandhi Gram Rural Institute, deemed to be university. Uh, I welcome you all. You people were waiting very eagerly because uh, when Chopra Sahib comes, he is our chief guest today. Uh, the entire world will come. We are here. Yes, I just introduced uh, to start. Professor Chopra Sahib. Uh, Professor Chopra had uh, very good afternoon, five everyone. Years of experience. All are welcome. He has a meaningful contribution to five day overall series. Well, the Gram Rural Cardiac Division University as a pioneer in clinical and uh, preventive cardiology. I welcome you all and eco cardiology. 
you people is were getting very very national award when and fellowship comes is uh, our chief guest today envisions uh, transforming the entire world by setting world world. new standards in health we are here yes, i just introduced uh, start he has held eminent positions in various platforms that president indian academy of ecocardiology uh, had a very good feedback academy, academy and he was very honored welcome he has been nominated as third to five day overall series of the american gandhi of cardiology university as a pioneer link global pioneer uh, in developing i welcome you all and heart wellness programs you people are raising getting very very national award and for such a noble product is a adopted transforming the entire world as a part of setting new standards of the world series and this heart wellness Diabetic yes, health eminent professionals in various Sir, platforms. Education background, in Indian academic details, endocardiology, uh, and very good feedback from the department. And you are all are welcome. He has been nominated third or even five day overall of the American Academy of Cardiac Fellowship University. As a pioneer, link to global pioneers, even in developing and welcome to all university of heart wellness programs. You mean he is raising a very good level of excellence and has a noble product which is actually adopted transforming the entire world. I am taking this and yes also we are here CD side and our fellow study of diabetic endocardiology has eminent professionals in various sir training in pediatrician in indian academy cardiology endocardiology and very good feedback department and world of training and welcome ecocardiology and third or can be overall of the american academy of cardiology university as a pioneer link global training in pediatric cardiology all university heart wellness from policy you mean he is raising very good feedback and for from <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Kumar. For giving you this opportunity, I also express my gratitude to the Just give me one second, professor. Yes, sir. Please take your time. Okay, sir. Okay. Can you just give me one second, professor? Yes, sir. Please take your time. Okay, Can you just give me one second, professor? Yes, sir. Please take your time. Sir, am I audible now? Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
since since one second. Am I audible? Clear. Oh, now it's clear. Yeah. yeah, it's clear now. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Thank Sorry, you. Sir. Thank you. Yeah. Can you share the presentation now? Yeah, please. Okay, sir. Okay. Since. One second. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kumar, for your kind words. I also express my gratitude and thanks to the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, and the Registrar of the University. No, no. Am I audible? The topic no, no. given to me today yeah. was yes, a very, very important webinar. Yes. Okay. Organized by a GRI yeah. Center, yeah. Presentation now. Gandhi Gram yeah. Rural Institute, okay. so. Deemed University, Dindi okay. Ministry of Education, yes. Government of India. The topic of the webinar is <clears throat> Enhancing Healthy Heart. During Corona crisis in India. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kumar, I for your kind words. I also understand your attitude. What exactly is health? To the we are we are Vice Chancellor and the Registrar of the I University. Think start. Am I audible? My you first topic are, given to me you, today yeah. was a very, very important yes. webinar. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the other okay. by the GRI Center and the other Ministry of the Gram Institute, the Deep University, Dindi Gul, Ministry of Education, Government of India. The topic Corona of the webinar is well. <clears throat> enhancing healthy heart <laughs> during the Corona crisis of in India. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kumar, for your kind words. words. Just we have to understand his attitude. What exactly is health? To the we are we, 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 to the we are we Vice Chancellor, the Minister of Education, 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 the in India, the Thank you, Mr. Kumar, 
there are about 50 lakh people are suffering from corona so they are in the grip of corona and mortality is almost 2% and this is equal to 15% of the global population who is suffering from corona in the world now, what is the mode of spread what is the root of spread i think is very well known to you it is by droplet infection and it is not airborne it's very important to understand the classification of covid 
mild, moderate, and severe. This is based on the clinical status, especially the oxygen saturation. If it comes to less than 90, it becomes serious. All these patients need hospitalization. And of course, signs and symptoms. And we have various inflammatory markers like CRP, interleukin-6, and ferritin levels and D-dimer levels. And we also take into consideration the HRCT of the chest and we score it. If the score is less than nine or less than 90, they're mild to moderate. If the score is more than 90, then they're severe. All these patients have to be hospitalized. Usually, the mortality is seen to a very large extent in elderly population beyond 60 or 65 who have underlying comorbidity. Otherwise, in young people, 90% of them recover completely. Regarding testing, I think uh, the best test is, uh, we all know, is uh, what you call as RT-PCR. This is the most sensitive and more specific test. Besides that, we do sometimes known as antigen testing. The sensitivity and the specificity of antigen testing is low, maybe 50%. Then we have a lot of markers, which I mentioned to you. And of course, the CT scan, which I mentioned to you. And nowadays, people are working a lot on antibodies. After they recover, we see the antibodies. And if the antibodies level are high, they have good resistance, and they go for a long time, and they have less chances of recurrence. When the antibodies are too low, or they are not there, then the chances of recurrence are also very, very common. Now, what are the preventive measures? The preventive measures, I think, are known to all of you very well. The first and the foremost is social distance. And number two, it's very important that we must have respiratory measures in the form of putting on a mask wherever we are, whether at home or in the office or on the road or in the car, everyone should put on a mask. Mask is highly protective as the virus, as I mentioned to you, spread from the nose or from the mouth, goes to pharynx and larynx and lungs, and they produce lung attack, pneumonitis, or a microthrombi. So we have to be very, very careful. Similarly, hand hygiene. Frequent washing of hands is the need of the hour. And we all should maintain a very, very strict sanitation wherever we are working or at home. These are all the preventive strategies. Treatment part, since it's a viral disease, there is no specific treatment known. Though we are treating all our patients with some antiviral drugs like remdesivir, and there is no fixed data on this, we are also using uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine in some patients after the recommendation by the ICMR. And the guidelines are we have to use in prophylaxis in the healthcare workers who are exposed to the COVID patients for at least seven weeks. And in the household, they have to be given hydroxychloroquine once a week, at least for about three to four weeks. Treatment part, a lot of data is emerging from Italy. They say it is very good treatment part in hydroxychloroquine, but the data is limited and the results are not yet true uh, for its usefulness in the treatment. There is also a lot of data coming on plasma therapy, especially with the antibodies. This is are useful regarding vaccine. We are all waiting. Still trials are going on. I hope in the year end, we will have definitely some vaccine, and then, of course, we'll be able to cope up with this issue very well. We can see here, these are very important measures. Wash your hands, as I mentioned to you, using the mask, practice social distancing, avoid close contacts with anyone, and avoid traveling. Traveling is a major source of spreading the infection, and preferably, we should stay at home. This is just to show that we should never get panic. If we get panic by stress level, our immunity is low and we are more prone to get infection. We must boost our immunity. The boost of our immunity, one can take turmeric in the morning with lemon, lukewarm. I take, do it every day. Then there is a lot of data on vitamin C, 500 milligram twice a day and zinc, 50 milligram every day vitamin D, 1000 milligram daily, and 60K once a week, and some nuts, fruits, and vegetables. And a lot of data is there from the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Ayush. It says we can give Giloy, 
Deloitte's immunoboosting power, as well as Tulsi or Ashwagandha. I think they are also being used, and there is a drug which is available by Zardas as super immune. It contains, I think, Giloy and Tulsi and Dalcheni, vitamin D, C, and zinc, everything we recommend to a lot of our patients, and I think they are doing very well. And we also give a drug a antibiotic, which has got antiviral effect like azithrol, 500 milligram daily, at least for five to seven days. And for fever, we give paracetamol or meftal, two or three times a day and keep a strict temperature chart, oxygen chart, as well as pulse chart, which is very, very important. Now it's very important to understand the concept of health. If you understand the concept of health and if you keep a healthy heart, I'm sure we are going to cope up with the Corona very well. If you see the definition of health by WHO, is a physical, mental, social, spiritual, psychological, emotional, and environmental well-being, and not just merely an absence of disease. The same definition from the mind-body perspective, health is defined as an optimal integration of mind, body, soul, spirit, and environment. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 60 trillion cells in our body and there are 6 trillion chemical reactions occurring every second. I had a cup of tea and I'm digesting my tea. I'm not aware of it. My heart is pounding blood to my brain. And there are so many chemical reactions taking place in my brain to communicate with you. But I am not aware of it. Everything is happening in accordance with the laws of nature. If you follow the laws of nature, we are going to be very healthy, very calm, very peaceful, and we'll be able to match any kind of stress in our life without becoming overstressed and liberating a lot of epinephrine or norepinephrine or steroids from adrenal gland and increasing the pulse or blood pressure sweating, tremulousness, agitation of mind, sleeplessness, and making ourselves vulnerable to what we call as high levels of stress during Corona. Please manage yourself and remain calm. Attitude of, <clears throat> very important, attitude of calmness is the need of the hour. There's a very nice expression in Vedas, it says, as is the atom, so is the universe. As is the microcosm, so is the macrocosm. As is the universal body, so is the cosmic body. And as is the universal mind, so is the cosmic mind. In other words, in Sanskrit, we call it as Jatha Pinde, Tatha Brahmande. The same thing has been expressed by a very famous physicist, Albert Einstein, who said, we are not the packages of flesh and bone with the wisps of memory and desire. We are all the web of information and energy interwoven with the emotions and intelligence from the eye of the soul or eye of the consciousness. If you do everything in life from the eye of consciousness, I'm sure we are going to be very calm, peaceful, and our biochemical reaction will be absolutely in harmony with the environment within us and environment outside us. What we call as a heart is like a hologram of our mind and body. And the whole mind and body is the hologram of the macrocosm outside us. They must be having integration. You take a drop of blood and you know the whole body cholesterol. One drop of blood is like a hologram of the whole body to tell you the electrolytes, the urea, the creatinine, and the sugar. The same way, every speck in you and me is the hologram of the universe. So I think these are very, very important. Everything in you and me is changing. Our stomach lining changes every five days. Our every skin changes every eight weeks. Our liver changes every 12 weeks. And 99% of you and me are different in different years. Ladies and gentlemen, the model of you and me of 2019 is dead. And the model of the year 2020 
will determine the model of 2021 depending on what perceptions i have what thoughts i have what interpretations i have what experiences i have and what choices i have to so health is an expression of your own choices for which we don't need anybody you make a perfection of your mindset and perfection of your choice you are going to be very very healthy and you are going to have a healthy heart we see here this is how the corona virus affect the lungs and may cause pneumonitis in microthrombi and may cause multiple patches of pneumonia in the lungs and we see here this is how it may cause it, it, all the corona virus has a pro inflammation and pro thrombotic uh, potential and that's how it causes inflammation in the blood vessels and may cause a thrombi formation so it may cause a lung attack a heart attack a brain attack and a leg attack and also an abdominal attack this is especially in a delhi where the circulation system is sluggish this is how our synchrony between the lungs and heart is maintained which get disturbed and all the patients who are having covid especially after 60 they may get a heart attack or they may get a myocarditis or they may also get a irregular pulse which is very common manifestation in covid this is how we see some people may also get a arrhythmias and there are only two coronary arteries very tiny in millimeter right coronary artery and left coronary artery thrombi can be formed in corona and the electrical system can also be affected by the corona in the form of tachyarrhythmias or bradyarrhythmias we see here how the pacemaker which is present in the human beings uh, give the impulses of uh, electrical impulses in the heart and goes to the whole right ventricle and the left ventricle and this is how the flow is occurring in the right ventricle and left ventricle all the time a heart is beating almost 1 lakh times in a day we are not aware of it it doesn't stop even for a second so various risk factors are all known to you negative stress is the most dominant <coughs> risk factor which can be modified obesity high cholesterol lack of exercise tobacco faulty diet uncontrolled hypertension and diabetes and consumption of excessive alcohol non modifiable risk factors like age we can't <coughs> change the sex we can't choose our parents and we can't change our genetics so some people are genetically also most vulnerable these are the risk factors which need to be controlled and age as i mentioned to you i also mentioned to you about the sex and genetics and stress is a very very common factor we should not be in negative stress they become a distress we should always be in positive stress what we call as huge stress or healthy stress we must prevent obesity because that is the main cause of diabetes heart attack <coughs> high blood pressure and premature death and gallbladder stones this is what happening in india fast food is a real junk food and they make us more vulnerable to complications of covid we should not have any obesity central obesity is worst whether it's a pear shaped or it is a uh, apple shaped all are vulnerable to get a premature heart problems and there are all the various components of so called metabolic syndrome this is what happens we keep on consuming mcdonalds smoke a lot drink a lot and sedentary and fall victim to obesity and all the problems and that's how the cholesterol get deposited in the inside wall of the arteries we are very obese we don't come out of the car and call a laundry man to help us and serve us right in the car which produces lot of problems activity is a must today we chew tobacco tomorrow tobacco will chew us all of us consider tobacco chewing is a slow motion suicide or a slow motion homicide anybody who smokes that means he is climbing a slippery slope they always slip the only difference is some little early some little late unfortunately our children get motivated by the various uh, advertisement campaign of the smoking company especially they mention made for each other but they mention they never mention for how long then they say live life and king size there is no relationship so i think all these are the gimmicks which they play 
there is not a single advantage of tobacco or smoking not a single advantage it is a poisonous effect in the heart brain cancer lungs everywhere tobacco healthy heart you can't have both a very important message especially in the covid era quality diet one should not consume fried food pakoda samosas halwas and all that stuff high blood pressure is very important you must ensure that we all maintain our blood pressure meticulously in the covid times otherwise the morbidity and mortality is going to be high control of sugar is also the need of the hour and alcohol should be in a great uh, uh, great limitation if one is used to alcohol low dose is definitely better but middle dose and high dose are bad and there are all the side effects which we see here alcohol and heart we never recommend alcohol in our prescription paper to anybody i have gone through almost 17 crore abstracts in the google and they are very clear no recommendation by aha or acc or csi or many organizations of the world but one or two packs sometimes those were used to it may uh, help them make them relax evaluation of heart function is the need of the hour and blood pressure and of course this is the heart work plan which we must do almost every 6 month after the age of 60 in our after every year after the age of uh, 40 which is a must we should know what is our ecg pattern and we should know whether we have irregular pulse treadmill which is an exercise test and this is a very important variable what we call is echocardiography by which we can see the structural disease of the heart and the functional disease of the heart and we can see all kind of variabilities in our heart which is a very very important tool i had my extensive training in the uh, echocardiography in the united states and they use it extensively in every specialty today to diagnose the disease of the heart stress helium to see whether your coronary arteries are narrowed we can also do a coronary angiogram interventionally or by ct scan we can also do a calcium scoring and we can score the calcium or and we can see which patient is vulnerable and which patient is not vulnerable Ultra money fast or slow or irregular or their heart blocks and a patient need a pacemaker. All those things can be studied. Very important. Everybody should understand the definition of a heart attack, especially in COVID era, because the system is changed. Very angioplasty. We prefer all the patient. who get a heart attack should get a clot buster either by a clot buster in the form of tnk or ten ectoplase it's a bolus injection of a clot buster it may salvage the geopardized myocardium and after 3 hours to 24 hours patient can undergo coronary angiography and if needed they can have an angioplasty there is a little change in the heart attack and heart attack is quite common in the covid as i mentioned to you because the virus is prothrombotic and we can see here how the heart attack can damage these are all the various manifestation of the heart attack chest pain heaviness in chest tightness unexplained sweating dizziness dyspnea vomiting and short breath and how to attack heart attack should be known to everybody urgent ecg pre hospital aspirin they should be given or clopidogrel about 600 mg and 40 to 80 mg of uh, atorvastatin sorbitrate and as i mentioned to you tnk iv is the need of the hour ambulance don't waste your time in calling a general practitioner or a chemist shop go to the hospital where there is a facility for an angioplasty as well as the injection eloxin which can be given and in the hospital we do tropi and echo and angiography how to prevent heart attack is the main important thing which i wanted to discuss with you as i mentioned to you that we are we must try to have a consciousness based approach to have a healthy heart and we must be nurtured by the nature and we should nurture the nature by ourselves as i mentioned to you that we are all the holograms of this whole universe and our heart is a hologram of the whole mind and body you see here that we are three bodies physical body a subtle body and a causal body the physical body is matter and energy 
which is a space and time event and a subtle body is mind intellect and ego which is again a space and time event while the soul and the spirit are spaceless and timeless and they are very very important we must try to integrate them by regular meditation or yoga and this is what the consciousness says it's a unified field if i have to define consciousness it is a field of eternity and which is emitting receiving and transmitting the impulses of intelligence all the time it is the impulses of intelligence which keep us alive and we are active and this is what consciousness is thinker of thoughts idea generator it's non local infinite intelligence and the field of science if i have to define this to confuse somebody i can say it's a radical radically ambiguous ceaselessly flowing quantum soup by physics mind body consciousness is the cosmic computer and mind is the programmer and our cells in the body 60 trillion cells are the terminals of the cosmic computer and the environment is the extended body and healthy heart is a hologram of the universe and the universe is a hologram of a healthy heart stress management is possible by regular meditation quitting smoking reducing alcohol regular exercise laughter therapy and meditation a new mantra for healthy heart with spirituality yoga and meditation which is consciousness based ladies and gentlemen i must tell you today that every one of us should not be in a sympathetic mode like aggressive angry agitated arrogant anxious ego cynical and with competitiveness jealousy hatredness vengeance vindictiveness bigotry it may increase the blood pressure heart rate with a spasm oxidation of cholesterol clotting and cause a heart attack we should be all the time in a parasympathetic mode means mindfulness meditation any meditation whether it can be raj yoga meditation or vipassana meditation or primordial sound meditation or gregorian chanting regular exercise especially heart friendly exercises like walking walking jogging swimming dancing cycling treadmilling are the best exercises avoid weight lifting and push ups they are unfriendly exercises consumption of fruits at least 4 to 5 servings every day and vegetables nuts especially walnut almond and american pistachio are excellent no tobacco no alcohol or low alcohol and of course medication of the age of 55 everybody should take statins or aspirin or beta blockers and arb with the advice of a doctor control blood pressure and heart rate so that we liberate a uh, happy molecules what we call as serotonin and endorphin which may give you health and a circulation is very well maintained and live on your heart by heart energizing meditation i meditate every day 20 minutes morning and 20 minutes evening and i do chakra meditation we have seven zones in our body and these zones are like uh, in the different uh, parts of the body what we call as sacral plexus or perineal plexus or in the upper part of the abdomen or in the heart or in the neck or on the forehead or on the crown they are all the chakras and they are energy zones they are connected to the spinal cord by our nervous plexus is what we call as autonomic nervous system so we must try to dis- to integrate this by regular meditation this is a chapter by itself we can take 3 hours but meditation is the most powerful tool energize your heart intelligence by and heart mind and heart connection this is what a scene i am showing you of lodi garden i am sure mr kumar if is watching me yes sir. i go here every day for last 40 years and i really enjoy the nature i can see a flower in my hands which is an expression of pure potentiality and infinite possibilities i meditate and i really enjoy i feel the heaven is here but people have no time to go to the park it's a real beauty and real calmness and real energy which we all should have eight lips of yoga yama niyama asana pranayam pratihara dharana dhyana and samadhi all the eight limbs should be followed people don't understand yoga they just do some kind of asanas and say yoga is complete that's not the way yama means do's and don'ts niyama means self discipline asana means postures and exercise pranayam is breathing exercise 
pratihara is contemplation dharana is concentration dhyana is meditation and samadhi is transcendence these are all the various postures and we should also know the ayurvedic type or mind body type of uh, personality what you call pitta personality they are more prone to a plaque rupture or a kapha personality or a vata personality they are all given by god what we call it doshas for example if the flight is delayed and a pitta person is sitting at the airport he may say i will sue the airlines if it is a kapha personality he won't bother he said let's play the cards but if it is a vata personality he will be very active and dynamic and make very telephone calls so we are all having three doshas if we keep this dosha in balance we are going to have a healthy heart we should <coughs> we should not have negative attitude of life what we call as dukhira we are helpless worthless and hopeless in life that is the worst thing we should have a positive attitude of sukhira with learn from opportunity and be optimistic and we should have more excitement in life worth living two mantras are very important which i tell everybody and they are kfp versus bfp kfp means kya fark padta hai and vfp means bahut fark padta hai so respond but do not react pehle tolo phir bolo sometimes casual use of words can humiliate others you have to be very very careful i firmly believe we must give happiness wherever we go and not happiness whenever we go this is swami chinmayananda we should know our past is history future is mystery we should act in the present moment all the time and think of only present if we do good deeds in present the future is bound to be bright your attitude is your attitude management of stress will give you, it's like a tranquilizer energizer stabilizer equalizer happiness hyzer and equipoiser toxic emotions toxic behavior toxic relationship toxic consumption and toxic lifestyle will make you a toxic beam and precipitates heart attack during covid era if you really want to have nirvana or moksha or extinction or attributes of mantras for healthy heart we must have inner calmness at the level of absolute consciousness an attitude of gratitude these are the maha mantras which you all should adopt i try my best in my practice for last 40 years i'm practicing and i try to be as calm as possible so that i can deal with the patient in effective way and deal myself bhagavad gita says wisdom is what you are and not what you have be in action all the time i go to the hospital at 8:30 in the morning and i work till 5 o'clock in covid time no issue i never took any leave and take care of patients and i am 68 years of my age i'll request you also to be active and don't be scared of covid yet take all the precautions so that you don't fall victim to the covid have renunciation in action but not renunciation of action do the best and leave the rest to god exercise every day for 30 minutes must for everyone this morning itself i was in the uh, <coughs> nursery a very nice nursery in south delhi and i was just enjoying the green tea when mr kumar called me and that was the time i was on my way to the hospital then i took a round and i am with you fitness paradox exercise every day as i mentioned to you and no unaccustomed exertion breathe the fresh morning air this is lodi garden in the lodi garden i really enjoy the weather a lot of serenity the lap of mother nature there are some people who are too busy to exercise i think if you are too busy to exercise there are a lot of problems in life unfortunately most of us are busy busy and busy in earning money and losing health and then we are busy busy and busy in losing money and trying to earn help it's gone so please have a balance i don't say money is not important but money is not everything in life health is everything mahatma gandhi said health is wealth no doubt about it but wealth is not health 
Mahatma Gandhi also said, health is not in the pieces of gold. He also said, health is not in pieces of silver. And health is not in the piles of notes. It is only in your choices. If you make perfect choices of a healthy lifestyle, you are going to be healthy and slowly, slowly, Corona will disappear. It is not going to stay for a long time. Next six months or eight months, it will disappear. Pandemics. Healthy mind, healthy body. And see, these are all the offshoots of exercise. Please exercise every day. Exercise and stress management, they go together and we all should do it. This is what we see, the dietary pattern. White of Madhya Pradesh or South, Jalebi, Pakoda, Samosas, Halwas, Parathas, and then Idli, Dosas. And we are all deficient of omega-3 fatty acid. India is the world capital of deficiency of omega-3. And that's how we have more inflammatory diseases. This is what we eat. We are very fond of samosas. I don't know who, who invented samosas. Diet and weight reduction, as I mentioned to you, nice vegetables, fish, chicken, white of an egg, and nuts are very, very good. And we must eat fruits every day. We should not go to Haldiram. I don't have enmity with Haldiram. But I say we should not eat in whatever is available Haldiram all the day. Once in a while is okay because it contains a lot of free radicals and injuries for health. Healthy diet and healthy heart, they go together by fruits, vegetables, nuts, cereals, fish and chicken and no red meat, please. No organ meat and no egg yolk. These are all the recommendations by various authorities in the world. American pistachio, walnut, almonds are healthy heart nuts. Or recently, a lot of data is coming on U.S. cranberry. A lot of data is there, which is very healthy to control various diseases. Laughter therapy, as I mentioned to you, I go to Lodi Garden, there are laughter clubs. A baby laughs 400 times a day, but the adult, not even four times a day. Please make sure laughter should be unconditional. We should laugh at ourselves. Laughter is like an internal jogging. Mahatma Gandhi said, you are not dressed completely if you don't wear a smile. <laughs> and Mahatma Gandhi also said, no pain, no gain in life. You have to have a pain of getting up early in the morning and do an exercise and have a laughter therapy every day. And too much of resting is resting is also the statement of Mahatma Gandhi. Dancing is excellent. Those who dance, they live long and they remain healthy. Music therapy is excellent. We all should experience and enjoy the music, especially the conch blowing. I wrote an article in almost half page of Times of India about nine or ten years ago. And there are a lot of data which I mentioned that conch blowing is a very, very good exercise. Spa and massage therapy is very good. I enjoy it every day. Nowadays, since because of COVID, I'm not going to the spa center, but I do a self-massage for just five to 10 minutes. It gives me a great feeling of well-being. This is one of my patients who was just 32 year old, hypertension, diabetes, smoker. And after my treatment, it's what he is. And now he's off medication only by lifestyle optimization. I'm sure you all know Adnan Sami, what he was and what he is now. We all know the Reliance Group, what he was and what he is. This is all by control of obesity, which is self-inflicted by our poor choices. We should not be like this. We should always try to take care of the obesity. Don't fall victim to obesity. See the guy here. He is not able to do treadmill or exercise. He is making his dog exercise. See the mindset of people here in India. And this happens when we don't control obesity. Fat everywhere. And see the mushrooming of McDonald's. On one side, on one side, we think of angioplasty or attack heart attack campaign in India. I think this need to be changed. And we need the help of Ministry of Health, Government of India, and each and every one of you. I'm sure Mr. Kumar is listening to me. Yes. And he will be in propagating this message. Definitely. Control. Take care of our dogs. We don't leave our pets also. Make them obese, give them cataract and premature arthritis and heart attack, and they lose in 30 years stress in life. To conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I must say, exercise daily. You want to cope with the stress, have a balanced diet, no tobacco, 
no or low alcohol overcome stress by meditation yoga and exercise as i mentioned to you no pot belly please be cholesterol fit control your blood pressure control your diabetes and have a periodical health check up make doctor says your friend don't be away from them heart wellness is the need of the hour i launched a heart wellness program as mentioned by mr kumar and this program was launched by mr uh, azad our health minister at that time and it was uh, it was uh, launched in the sch meeting and it's one of the important thing our prime minister mr modi also mentioned about 15 or 1.5 lakh wellness centers in india and i think uh, that's the need of the hour every hospital every school every college every public sector undertaking and every government center should have a wellness center we must have a paradigm shift from illness to wellness unfortunately our country is known as the capital of illness today and not the capital of wellness a time has come we must make our country india as the country of wellness integration we should not be in a cage feel yourself free if you feel free this is the cartoon i got from times of india mita bachchan mentioned be creative with a healthy heart world will follow you ethics and discipline is a cosmic continuum the only way to heart wellness happiness and nirvana is ethics and discipline i love abdul kalam i had been to his office many times in president of india and i used to go to his office i did one project with him he said if you salute your duty you need not salute anybody but if you pollute your duty you have to salute everybody we vivekananda said we are what we eat and what we think both are expressions of nutrition and divinity that's what was mentioned in the gita wisdom is what we are and not what we have so healthy heart is an integration of body mind soul and spirit at the level of quantum as is the quantum soup so is the quark and as is the quark so is the boson as is the boson so are the proton neutron and electron and dna and as is the dna so are the genes as is the dna so is the intelligence as is the intelligence so are the emotions as is the emotion so are the choices as are the choices so is the mind and body and as are the mind and body so is the lifestyle as is the lifestyle so is the health of the heart and as is the health of the heart so is the world of around covid or no covid thank you very much for your kind attention i would just like to show a last clipping coping with the stress uh, this is a very very important uh, by swami vivekananda who answers how to reach god experience god you must be pure and help anyone you come across as much as lies in your power and this is the good karma we should be karma karmic and do a good karmas every day by the power of this the heart becomes pure what we call a chitta shuddhi and then shiva who is residing in every one become manifest vivekananda also said that in every heart of every one there is a dirt and dust on a mirror we cannot see our image vivekananda also said so ignorance and wickedness are the dirt and dust that are on the mirror of our hearts selfishness is the real sin thinking of ourselves all the time is a sin help others he who thinks i will eat first i will have more money than others and i will possess everything he who thinks i will get into the heaven before anybody else and will get mukti before others is a selfish man avoid to be in the company of selfish people unselfishness in the man i say i will be the last i do not care whether i go to heaven or hell 
I will keep on doing good work for my brothers and sisters. This unselfishness is the test of religion. He who has more of this unselfishness is more spiritual and near to God and will be successful and will be happy and will have a perfect health in the form of healthy heart and healthy mind. Whether he is learned or ignorant, he is nearer to God than anybody else, whether he knows it or not. And if a man is selfish, even though he has visited all the temples and pilgrimages all over the world, he has just painted himself like a leopard and he is still not close to God. Thank you very much for your kind attention. I am very grateful to you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have uh, come across something like great speech uh, from medicine to meditation, uh, from divinity to health. Amazing, amazing uh, lecture, I should say. Thank Shall you, sir. I am really thankful to you, sir. Uh, you have come out uh, taking your valuable time and uh, uh, you have sp spent some time with us. Our student Thank staff you. and other people are very thankful to you. Can we hope, have some two, three questions which has come in? Sure, here, sir. Most welcome, sir. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, there is, there is, uh, we, we have, uh, we are now talking about datas. You are talking about uh, datas which is coming from abroad. Uh, I have uh, one uh, question, sir. Uh, the India, uh, Indian datas which have been taken in COVID times are recorded perfectly by the uh, by the ministry's instruction and we have a huge database now. What could be the contribution to uh, world uh, uh, medical fraternity? This Indian data will help. I think uh, whatever best data we have in India is early implementation, implementation of lockdown. This really helped, which is a model created by our ministry or the government of India and shown the whole world. You see in America, the prevalence rate of Corona is very, very high and the mortality was very, very high. And number two, the universal precautions, despite having so thickly populated our country and the illiteracy is so high, I think uh, people followed to a great extent and the mortality is very, very low. And third thing, I think we, I feel, we are going to be a winner for creating a vaccine very soon. If we create a nice vaccine, which is cost effective, millions of people will be benefited. So India has performed a role model by creating a timely lockdown and timely action plan and the hospital COVID creation of hospital worldwide creating up so many things in the form of uh, uh, what we call as uh, various kind of modalities required in the intensive cares and in the hospital for sanitation. If you'll be very happy to know that I feel very comfortable in the hospital these days. There is a total cleanliness, total sanitation, and they are absolutely clean hospitals. So the infection rate has come down drastically with the COVID. So COVID has taught us many things in our country. And I'm sure hydroxychloroquine was given from India to the world. And there is a lot of data on hydroxychloroquine as by ICMR guidelines and ICMR advisory. And I think uh, prophylactically, there is a lot of role. Treatment part, I think there is still a little controversy and we need more data to validate it. But it is all originated from India. So we feel very proud that India is doing well so far as COVID crisis is concerned. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, the second question, you have uh, dwelled upon uh, smoking and drinking in our uh, regular life. Uh, there is a question on uh, smoking. Uh, how, uh, what, what, uh, did you like to know more about smoking and its relation to heart problems? 
can you just uh, See, anybody more? anybody who smokes in the smoke there are 2000 chemicals My the God. worst is nicotine nicotine causes vasoconstriction of all the blood vessels right from head to the toe and number two it changes our hemoglobin to a carboxy hemoglobin so that the oxygen carrying capacity to the heart and brain is reduced and we are more vulnerable to have a clot formation in the heart as well as in the lungs or in the brain and number three it has a carcinogenic potential there is not a single benefit of smoking you'll be surprised to know mr kumar the addiction power of nicotine is thousand times more than cocaine and yet it is available freely in the market government should take a very very strict cognizance of what statement i'm giving that we must try to make sure that nicotine is eradicated from india so that none of us fall victim to this addiction of nicotine and have a premature heart attack or brain attack or leg attack there is not a single benefit of smoking i mentioned in my statement tobacco or health you can't have both today we chew tobacco tomorrow tobacco will chew us today we smoke a cigarette tomorrow cigarette will smoke us choice is purely ours great 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 dr sam now uh, the third question is what are, what are the various symptoms to identify the heart disease or problems dr sam general symptoms. yeah i think uh, i mentioned one of my slides if a person has got a heart attack initially he may get a breathlessness on exertion or he may have a heaviness in chest or he may get a choking as the disease progresses then he will getting the same symptoms at rest and patient may have sweating unexplained sweating by any precipitating factors i think uh, in my opinion everybody should undertake a thorough health plan examination at the age of 40 every year and after the age of 55 55 is the cut off age after 55 we all have a occult coronary artery disease we all should have a periodic checkup every six months i'm 68 i get my checkups every six months so that i know what medication i should take and i am on a regular medication as a preventive so that i don't get a heart attack or a brain attack or leg attack and keep my pressure under control and that's what make me happy there should be massive awareness campaign as i mentioned heart wellness campaign i've launched on the television uh, tata sky fm health i am a national advisor to this channel tata sky fm health and i launched a mission heart wellness mission attack heart attack and mission hypertension care as a global uh, tsunami so i think these programs are already coming on the television and very shortly in next two months i am launching another program which is known as cholesterol fitness and then I'm also launching mission clot care. Clot care means thrombus care. How the clot is formed, we'll educate the masses in a very simple language, in a Hindi language, or a very simple English language, so that people should understand that wellness is the need of the R and not the illness. Thank you, Dr. Uh, there are two more questions. Uh, one, if you, you were uh, discussing on wellness centers, uh, how do, what is your suggestion to the government of India that whether the wellness centers should only have the uh, health uh, care amenities or we should have yoga, dhyana and all these things? Yeah, you see, wellness center should have various components. And the components should be in the form of practice of regular yoga, all the eight limbs of yoga, teaching, meditation. There should be some kind of uh, exercise tools for a regular exercise. And there should be a small kitchen, what we call as people can eat what they want, what is healthy for them. And not going to a dhaba and eating pakoras and samosas. I go to Supreme Court very often for various cases. And I see a lot of advocates of Supreme Court consuming six samosas or four samosas. <laughs> I don't know what. So, you know, <laughs> I think we need to educate people that this is not health. This is creating of diseases. So if we create this small kitchen and a small exercise or a healthy style exercise tools and of course a room which is a meditation room and a yoga room and a small library where they can understand the digital program the television program they can spend some time in every school in every college in every corporate 
in every PSU, in every government organization and non-government organization. We should create the wellness mantra. That's the need of the hour. Repeatedly. Wellness of India is the wellness of world. And wellness of heart is the wellness of whole world and world peace. Wellness is the real mantra which we all should work on. And I think we need your help and the Ministry of Education. And I'm ready to participate with you on this campaign in a big way since I'm very actively involved in the digital media by Facebook, by Google, by various uh, Twitter and Instagram and uh, podcast as well as YouTube and of course television. And we do a lot of CMEs by Zoom meetings. I think all these things are very, very active gadgets which we use both for public education and continuing medical education. Education is the need of the art, sir. Mr. Kumar, you are the key person for education. We need your help. Definitely, sir. Definitely. There are so many big people, those who are there, uh, who are focusing on it. And definitely these things will, ha will happen in the days to come. I personally like that you should take the lead uh, in in couple of meetings. I will arrange with the uh, with the honourable minister and uh, other people uh, concerned people in UGC of higher education institutions, which can help, which can help us, which can help us. Sir. Now the last question to you, sir. Uh, many people are saying continuously wearing a mask is risky for heart patient. Uh, those who have done angio or even otherwise. What's your uh, it's a very good question? See, masks are in various forms, various shapes. We use uh, N95, N95. masks, yeah. especially in intensive care units, where we don't want any kind of particulate of a virus or virus load should enter into our respiratory tract when we are intubating patient or when we are resuscitating patients. Otherwise, N95 is not required. Hmm. Our aim is to cover our nose, cover our face, and mouth. by mask. So that acts as a barrier and we reduce the load. When we have a social distancing, the same thing, because the virus has a traveling power up to three meters. Beyond three meters, the virus cannot travel. So whenever a person coughs, and if we prevent the cough by your mask, it is going to help us. Number two, when you prevent the sneezing, it will also help us. So mask is a very, very important tool. And I don't think that anybody should put on N95 mask. N95 mask is meant only for doctors who are working in the intensive care unit. There, there is a difficulty. For example, I've seen in Lodi Garden, people, when they walk with N95 and they jog with N95, they feel suffocated. So we don't advise them. I don't know who is advising them to put on N95 mask. If they put a simple sheet of the mask that's protecting themselves, I think that's best what we need. And I think in every house, in every family, everywhere, we should use that simple mask to protect yourself. But that's a very, very important tool. In Japan, they have started now recently. And the protocol is we have to learn to live with the COVID. Everybody should start working the way they are working with all the three precautions. Number one, on the top, mask. Number two, social distancing. And number three, hygiene of the face and the respiratory hygiene. Only three things. And of course, one should take more human boosters. Mask is the need of the hour. In my opinion, if anybody is not putting on a mask, we should penalize them. Whether in the car or on the scooter or at workplace, we should make sure that everybody puts on a mask, whether it's on any government organization or a non-government organization, this should be mandatory and should be a punishable offense. That is the only way we can prevent this virus because it has got a very fast spread and is highly infectious. The only way we can prevent is by mask. Thank you, Dr. Uh, it was really a pleasure hearing you. Uh, you have taken out your valuable time. Come and, Thank you, uh, in this platform with the Gandhi Gram Rural Institute deemed university. Uh, you have delivered a lecture in enhancing healthy heart during COVID-19 crisis in India. It's not confined to India. It's for, for the whole world. Uh, you have given uh, many inputs. It is it is very, you are a visionary, no doubt about it. Uh, it was a learning for us in this one hour. Uh, we heard a lot from you, from the Vedas, from Gita, from medicine to anatomy. 
what not thank you so much i personally i personally i personally invite you to visit our campus in gandhigram rural institute uh, sure. in madurai uh, we will have sure. a darshan of minakshi get her blessings uh, sure. and uh, i personally invite you sir uh, you are you are most welcome there uh, we will have this co- let the corona time uh, come a little bit lesser sure. and we will certainly sure. make it sir i am really thankful to you on behalf of the gandhigram rural institute vice chancellor chancellor and registrar student fraternity and staff fraternity for giving us this opportunity to hear to you sir Jai thank him. you very much sir i am grateful to you and i express my gratitude and thanks to each and every one of you for giving me this opportunity and i'd like to meet you in delhi sometimes definitely to go, to go further thank you sir jai hind sir jai hind